Finally, Caroline, do you have any three specific tips for job seekers in terms of elevating their job search? Because my purpose of the channel is all helping job seekers finding jobs. Mm -hmm. Only three. <laughs> only three. I know you can give more, but only the top three that comes to your mind. Okay, the top three that comes to my mind. So you need, the, the, the number one is to get your patience hat on, okay? For job seeking, it is very, very hard. People will say, oh, you know, I haven't heard back from the company for two weeks, or I applied to 30 jobs and I haven't heard back. <sighs> Number one, patience. get your patience hat, cap, whatever you need. Do it, you're in it for the long run. Uh, number two, don't just apply to anyone, any, and, and, and anywhere, anytime. You really need to understand yourself. You need to understand what you're good at. You need to understand uh, what your superpowers are, what you're not so good at. And you need to articulate that really well in your uh, resume or CV. If you're listening to this from Europe, uh, you uh, also need to make sure that your LinkedIn is on point as well. It has to be, it has to reflect pretty much what you've, what you have in your CV too often when uh, recruiters will look at somebody's um, LinkedIn profile, they won't see the full person until they receive something, the CV or the resume. And then they'll say, Oh, I didn't get that from your LinkedIn profile. So more and more recruiters are looking at what superpowers you have and what your skills are and what your achievements and accomplishments are in your LinkedIn profile before even looking at your uh, CV. So really work on that. Um, and then the third point is when you apply for a job or if you're speaking to a recruiter about a role, you before you even speak to a recruiter about the role, are you applying for something that really is connected with what your experience is all about? If, if there is a disconnect, recruiters won't respond to you. If you're absolutely perfect and you're the 2000th person, let me say that again, 2000th person, <laughs> that was a mouthful, uh, that ha that's applied, you're going, to be, you're going to be underneath the rubble of it all. And you're not going to, you, you may not even be looked at because a recruiter's time is quite finite. They've just got to, they, they usually have to work so quickly. So there you'll have to do, which is my fourth tip, uh, which I know I haven't, you haven't asked me before, uh, is, is if you are a really good fit and it, it's not just a case of, oh, they need to give me a chance because recruiters are really looking for people that are the right fit from and what they can bring. Uh, they're not going to have time to actually train that person. They want somebody to be successful in the first 90 days uh, and to handle the stress, handle the workload, uh, to, be, to have that insight uh, on, on the role, et cetera. My thinking here, and I think this is a very important point, is that if you are the right person, 100%, and you're not getting a response, let's say within three days, and recruiters are gonna hate me for saying this, contact them via LinkedIn, follow up and say, and explain to them why you are a fit for that role, which means you have to identify their pain point, which means mm -hmm. more research. Yes, I know that's really painful, but again, go to uh, tip one, which is the patient's hat. Uh, identify your, the pain points. Uh, maybe even reach out to the potential hiring manager. The hiring manager is not going to be on that advert uh, on LinkedIn or wherever you've, or Indeed, or on Indeed, wherever you've actually found this uh, job. So maybe try and uh, use your detective skills to identify who the uh, hiring manager might be. And reach out to them and say, I'm wondering whether or not uh, I might be a good fit for this role based on X, Y, and Z. Um, I've applied to the recruiter, but I'm imagining, use your empathy thing here, empathy um, uh, gene, and say, I'm imagining the recruiter is completely and utterly um, uh, drowning with all of the applicants. Uh, if you're interested in having coffee with me, I would be delighted to meet up with you at any time to discuss my, my uh, ability to, to work on this role. Uh, and that's what I would recommend because it's very easy to get lost. So easy to get lost, even if you are 100% perfect. Yeah. And there are my four tips. <laughs> and with that, uh, our interview with you, Caroline, comes to an end. And again, thank you for taking the time to, uh, to answer my questions. And I believe my audience will very much benefit uh, listening to you.
And uh, if you have any other questions, please reach out to us to our social media platforms, either Caroline's or mine. It will be in the, in the links be be below. If you have other tips for job seekers, again, leave it in the comment section. We'd like to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel and tune in next time for another great interview I am preparing for you guys. And with that, bye, Caroline. Hope to Thank see you, you so again. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. Take care.